When moving in with forward energy and your opponent stands his ground or is surprised by your ability to close the distance, you must control or check the forward leg so he can't use the knee or short kick against you. The leg check can be used to break your opponent's balance, making his retreat or mobility awkward and slow, allowing your attack to be successful. It also has a psychological effect. If your opponent is trying to move away from your attack and keep his balance, he's not thinking of how to attack you. In the unmatched stance, or the right to left stance, the lead leg of your opponent still has to be controlled or checked in order to break the balance. This is the safest way in the unmatched trapping range. If you move in front of your opponent's leg, he has the opportunity to break your balance, giving your opponent time to grab and take you down. When you move in, your lead foot has to glide or just barely leave the surface you're standing on. This is an important motion in footwork that requires timing and distance. Footwork is the foundation of every successful move. Again, this is a fitting in process. Bruce emphasized footwork at the beginning of every class. Mobility and quickness were reinforced at every opportunity. If you don't check the leg, you're wide open for a kick. With the leg check, your leg controls your opponent's lead leg. In this sequence, I move into trapping range with an oblique kick and a leg check to hit, trap, and control my opponent. This is a drill using slapping hand punch to slapping hand punch, or pak sao to pak sao. Here the counter or answer to pak sao is pak sao. In this section, I'm the person controlling the drill, breaking the rhythm, so the workout won't become too rhythmic. Front hand barriers, or obstructions, blocks the path to hit. It is a normal reaction, even by an untrained person, when something comes toward you, you instinctively put up an arm to cover your face. In this section, we deal with the front barrier in three ways. Slapping it out of the way, pak sao, grabbing it out of the way, lop sao, and pak sao that doesn't clear the way. Ping choi or low hit goes under the arm and then back up and over to hit. These drills are taught individually and then combined with each other to promote a fitting in response that develops a high level of sensitivity so that you can't prearrange anything in your mind. The front barrier is the first contact made. The delivery is smooth and crisp and puts you in control. 
The sensitivity relies on what response or reaction your opponent answers with. Again, repetition, awareness are the guidelines here. This series of moves demonstrate a picture-perfect lopsow or grabbing hand. It doesn't always work that way. So play with it, but play seriously.